month back, I changed the oil on this motor. Uh, it had been years that I haven't done it. Let me uh, turn the power on on this. And um, I am gonna change the oil on it. I'm not gonna change the oil on the filter. And I'm gonna tilt the motor over just to get um, the oil, any residual oils from the head to uh, kind of drain to the port and then I'm gonna bring it back down so it completely drains down to where I want it. And then I'm gonna add a new new oil in there. Um, and currently this is what I'm gonna be dropping off in there. And it's quite simple. There is a um, actual a bolt there. This so what you have to do is just remove that. And then um, inside the cowl, the, there is uh, the uh, fill cap. We'll take that out so it allow air to go through and allow it to drain. Um, but I am gonna leave the filter because it's not been that long of hours of use. I just wanna put newer oil in it, being that I, I had not changed the oil on this motor for a long time. So I wanna give it another round of fresh oil and then lubricate everything and get it ready for my next fishing trip. Um, so that's basically what I am gonna do today. So the wrench I'll be using is gonna be a 13 millimeter wrench. Let's see if I can get a number on this. I believe it's 13, no, 14. And uh, I gotta make a correction. When I said to drain the oil of the filter, I meant leaving the filter in, not draining it. Uh, would be quite impossible but the oil filters here and that's fairly new so I'm gonna uncap this and I already checked the oil with the dipstick to see how much oil is in there also at the same time I got to look at the color of it so Basically stick that in there, pull back out, and you can see that. So that's what the color of the oil looks like. So I'm gonna put new oil in it. And basically what I'm gonna do is uh, drain what's in there now, and then refill it with new fresh oil and get it ready. And this setup is kind of Jimmy Rig in the way that um, that it works for me. Sorry, guys, I got to move this camera in a way that because uh, I'm all actually doing it with my phone. So I'm just gonna undo this. Uh, yeah, it's messy, but. Oops, yeah, I'll make sure this oil doesn't end up hitting the floor. I just dropped my wrench socket there. Um, so, all the oil has been drained out. I put the plug back in. Obviously, I don't know if you can see that with the light. Yeah, there we go. Um, and now I'm going to add the new oil in. Minus the filter, obviously the filter, uh, uh, I don't need to change it because it doesn't have enough hours. I just wanted to put new oil, considering that um, I've only changed the oil once on this boat since I've owned it. Anyway, so I already poured my first quart of oil. Um, from this point, you need to start checking your level you don't want to overflow your oil on your on your Yamaha motor so um, I am now gradually going to be checking and adding according to the level that is needed I have checked and I am not at the half mark of this uh, oil dipstick so I'm going to continue until I get to the midway of this dipstick
A little shy of, uh, of the marker, halfway marker on this. I'm going to wait for it to drip all the way down and make sure that is properly filled. Uh, if not, then I'm going to have to order another quarter of oil. And actually, I had two of them, but one of them uh, was not completely filled. The thing about this is that um, when you first do your oil change and you add your filter, you have to account for the oil in the filter. Uh, at this given moment, I'm not accounting for the oil in the filter because there is some residual oil in it. So I am just going to wait and see where this stays. Um, just give it a few more minutes for it to drip down and then remeasure it again. And if I'm still sure, I'm going to have to get another quart of oil. I made slightly a uh, cr critical error on doing this. Not so terribly, but I need to put this washer back on the oil plug. Um, somehow it slipped off when it dropped in the pan and I didn't realize it and I put it back on not knowing that the washer was on there. But that's an easy fix. In order to do that, you just got to tilt the motor all the way up and that will prevent the oil from spilling out. So I got the screw out, put the washer on, and this is exactly what you need to do, guys, so that the oil doesn't spill. Um, now I just got to tighten it down. I don't, rookie mistake, I don't know how that got past me. So we're pretty much done here. Uh, I did lubricate the hubs for my trailer change the oil um pretty much set just gonna kick it back plug it in and let it trickle charge the batteries um but basically this is it this is the end of the uh video thanks for watching